I want to be productive. It doesn't mean it has to be fast paced or result driven. I just want to spend my time doing things that make me feel happy or present or challenged. That's how I learn and grow. Hello, happy Wednesday and 2021, my friend. It's been a little bit because there's been tons going on in my life, but little steps every day. I want to refresh this space and get back into a nice functional workflow. Also, this video was brought to you by Skillshare. Thank you so much. Without further ado, let's get started. What a lovely and sunny afternoon. That's one thing I'm really grateful for in California is the very mild weather, cloudless sky because it's so dry here. So I get sunlight so often. I'm gonna start at this area. It's supposed to be my sketching station, but it has become the garage of the room where a bunch of stuff is stored, collecting dust in piles. I'm going to put everything that doesn't belong in the room in a designated box so that I could return them throughout the house all at once. My ideal setup, as I only work from home now, is to have an office area where my computer is, where I can do paperwork, and the other, this station, is supposed to be creative and mixed media. Having shallow drawers is the most effective because I work with a ton of little objects, so getting everything where I can see them spread out makes it more accessible. My organization is mostly intuitive, but I have zones for my shop specifically, like I have jewelry, beading things in one area. I have a whole category now of saved packaging that I'm repurposing because a lot of my supplies come shipped in perfectly good Ziploc bags and stuff, and I found it really helpful to sort out a bunch of loose objects that are just swimming around and getting tangled and everything I put them into these small ziplock bags like for example earbuds that I pretty much never use except for when I'm editing while traveling and the wires will get so tangled up with everything else it gets worse the lower we go this is my letter writing stationary drawer that's kind of outgrowing the space you can see all of my ziplock bags all shoved at the very bottom those are afterthought drawers this book flow i recently finished i talked about it in my november notes i highly recommend it essentially breaks down what it is to live for the optimal experience which values presence over pleasure it notes the difference between enjoyment and pleasure whereas in enjoyment there's gain advancement and skill craft or knowledge and you become more complex or evolved as a result and pleasure is not a bad thing it just argues that it doesn't bring one ultimate fulfillment because it cannot bring you flow i'm currently reading creativity the psychology of discovery and invention both by mihai chiksentmihai author and psychologist I also found it's very essential to have a floater table as I need to pack orders. Some bigger projects need things to go off the edge. I can walk around the table and not deal with the wall. So it's just very versatile and portable. I'm gradually learning with more experience how much proper storage I need, whether it's for my supplies or my equipment that's just lying all over the floor right now. I also save all of shipping materials because it's cost saving and I get a lot of packages. Bubble wrap would be really helpful as I'm also moving soon so that will come in handy so i do realize a lot about the situation is temporary so i'm not gonna rack my brain on making all the storage perfect i just need it to work well for the time that i'm here i have a lot of creative goals moving into this year a small step in one direction is to cultivate a more serious painting practice big picture i just want to spend more time making art because i struggle with artist block all the time and i have too many expectations so i procrastinate on my work because i'm trying to avoid disappointment and failure but Really, I have to question my intentions and redefine what is failure and success to me. It's easy and dangerous to conflate the quality of your work with your self-worth. It might drive you to produce for the wrong reasons, which is to seek validation, whether it's from yourself or from an audience. Art should be about the discovery, the struggle, evolution, and curiosity that comes with the process or just the sheer enjoyment of doing an activity. It can be so therapeutic and centering but when we get so self-conscious we might fall into the comparison trap or the scarcity mindset and it's quite deflating and tormenting to always feel like you're not enough try to shed expectations and allow yourself to experiment and try things if you just put in the time and just start with that you won't not improve or evolve with time so I used up every last drop of sunlight and I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm very happy. 
feel all of those endorphins or something and just like reward. And I swear the sound is echoing because that's how clear the ground is. <laughs> the sound is bouncing off. So like I was chatting about, I'm really wanting to get to a place where I put in the time. It doesn't mean I have to make work I'm super proud of. If you see me happen to share more studio vlogs or more work with you, that means I'm actually creating stuff because I just haven't been making for the sake of making. Speaking of that, I'm going to talk about Skillshare, an online platform where you can learn. There are virtual lessons that you can stream right away and there's over a thousand of them. All sorts of things from illustration, more fine art, to lifestyle, like financial planning. The next one though is a little bit different that I'm picking out and it is called Plants at Home Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space taught by Christopher Griffin, also known as Plant Queen. So the lessons are staggered into sections with different topics. You can share your class projects since it's a community style platform. You can post and interact with the teachers, comment on each other's things, and you can see how many people are taking it alongside you. You can start this right away with a free trial. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get that. And afterwards, it's around $10 a month. So thank you so much to Skillshare for working with me all of these times. Now, all that's left for me to do for today to wrap things up is to vacuum once more. It ran out of power, so it's all charged now. That is it for this week Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining Joining me. It feels good to be chatting with you again. Let me know how you're doing in the comments or keep up with me on Instagram. And until I see you next, please take care, rest well. Sending my love to you. Bye bye.